Hey guys, it's me Charlie and today I'm doing a get ready with me to go out for lunch with my family. Lots of you guys asked for a get ready with me for like a skincare and makeup routine so that's what I'm going to do for you guys today. So yeah, um, it's the morning. I have to go in like 30 minutes so we kind of have to do this pretty quick. Um, But yeah, so also did my hair yesterday. Well, I didn't do it. My auntie did it. But what do you guys think? It looks so good. She cut it as well. Go as fresh edges. Okay. Um, And I got this new skincare band I think it's really cute so I got a lot of products for Christmas new products and I'm really excited to use them today first things first I cleanse this is the cleanser I use in the morning it's the um glow recipe like blueberry bounce gentle cleanser it's just really nice it smells amazing it smells like a blueberry muffin literally but I love this so much so just do a little pump of that it's like a jelly cleanser see need some water got my cord away because I can't be able to go to my bathroom so not usually how I do it, but I want to stay here with you guys. It's kind of foaming. I kind of look like Santa Claus. Okay, I'm going to go to my bathroom. Okay, guys, I'm back. I added some more water when I was cleansing because um, this did not do it. Like, a couple of sprays of this. This is, I love this stuff. This is just like the Caudalie Great Water. It's basically just water in a can. But it's like this filtered mineral water stuff. Next, I use toner. So this is my Beauty of Jasan Green Plum refreshing toner so lots of people will say to you my friends have said this to me i'm like no it's only for some lots of people say to you oh i only use toner like a couple times a week you're not meant to use it every day but that's just like lots of the popular toners that's the rules you have to go by because like popular ones like glow recipe the glow recipe watermelon toner you know everyone knows about it um that is an exfoliant so you're only meant to use that like three times a week maximum but like this one that i have which is amazing by the way you can use it every day Oops, dropped the lid. This one's kind of like a water toner. Look how nice that is. Makes my skin feel so fresh. Like, I don't know. Okay, next step, serums. So, uh, I have two serums. First one is this Beauty of Jasan. It's This is Korean skincare. This is the same brand as well. It's Korean skincare. It's one of the best K-beauty, um, like, skincare brands that there is. Uh, so this is a really nice glow serum. I've had this before. I got it for my birthday as well this year. But I used it all up. Um, and then I also have Glow Recipe Dew Drops, which is also a serum. Yeah, I love how it smells like refreshing and like nice. Like it doesn't smell artificial. It smells like actual watermelon. So this one I'm going to use as a primer because this one also doubles as a primer. But to use it as a primer, you use it as your last skincare step. I'm going to use this one first um for like doing my skincare and then i'll use this one this one's they're so hydrating all my products i have are really hydrating because i've got dry skin everyone suggests the uh glow recipe watermelon toner and i really want to buy it but i don't know if it's overhyped or not because i've never tried it so i'm really scared because i don't know why i was scared to like try new products because like i don't want to waste my money look at this beautiful next you guys might come at me for this but i don't really care it's the Coserex the Snail Mucin. This stuff, it's, like I said, with, like, all my other products, it's so hydrating, but, like, it's just good, okay? You just do two pumps of that, and I just put it all over my face, do some down my neck. My skin's literally glowing. I might just tie my hair in a ponytail, because I don't want to get any product on it. I've got a little desk vanity. Well, my parents surprised me with a desk, but since it's the holidays, I kind of turned it into a vanity, because, like... I, like I'm gonna turn it back into a desk when school starts back again but like in the meantime I'm not gonna be doing any schoolwork at my desk so like I may as well just turn it into a vanity you know I've always wanted a vanity because it this all about snail kit it has a full four step um skincare routine I have tried the all-in-one cream I've tried the peptide eye cream and I've tried the snail mucin power essence which is just this one because I've got the full size but this one came with the mini as well what have I got on my lip? I've got a hair on my lip. Anyways, um, I haven't tried the gel cleanser because I've been using this one. Because I got two other cleansers for Christmas. I got this one. I got an oil cleanser. And then I got this new one. But this is so I can choose, like, I can see what products I want to get in full size because I love Cosrx. I'm going to use the moisturizer today. Um, I've got this on my face. Look at that. Can you guys see that? And like this. It's so cool though. This feels so nice on your skin, guys. 
I'm so buying the full size. And the full size of this is only 22 Australian dollars, which is even less American dollars. Well, it's on sale right now for 22 dollars. Originally it was like 40 something dollars. Next we have sunscreen. So I would, this is also Korean skincare and so is Go Recipe. But like this is Korean skincare that's not sold at like normal makeup stores, you know. Next, what am I doing next? Oh yeah, sunscreen, of course. Use SPF every single day. This is a beauty of just someone. I'm almost out of it. It's the same brand as this. An oil cleanser I got and this. So you're meant to do three things on your fingers. Like, because that's the proper amount. I'm going to use a little bit less just because I'm running out. But there we go. You need a lot of SPF, guys. You don't want to be getting burnt, getting no skin cancer. Especially in Australia. Like, Australian heat. So crazy, guys. So I've got sunscreen and... The primer, I mean, the G-Drop says if you want to use it as a primer, you use it as your last skincare step. So I think that they mean after sunscreen, but like, let me know. But I'm just going to do that anyway. Look how nice that looks. So I've got the Goldie Drops. I got these like ages ago around the time of my birthday, but I bought them. Um, my bronzing drops and then my goldie drops I got for Christmas which makes me look bronzed. I use these because I'm literally so pale guys. Look how fresh that tip is. I've only used these like twice. Look at that. Oh, rip off. There's a huge air bubble. It's farting. Sorry. I'm literally a two-year-old when it comes to fart jokes. I just can't hold it in guys. Wait, literally. Okay. No, not the farts. The, my laughter. <laughs> that sounded so weird. Okay. Just ignore that. Look at that. Oh, I love them so much. What are we thinking? Okay, next I'm gonna put on my lip mask. I forgot to do that in my skincare, but. This Laneige lip mask, the berry one. Literally my favorite lip product I have. Now I'm gonna go get all my makeup from up there. This is all the makeup I got for Christmas. So first things first, this Rare Beauty under eye brightener. It's really nice. It's kind of like concealer. It's got the same amount of coverage, but it's just lighter. Like it feels lighter than concealer. And it's like a bit thinner, but it's got the same amount of coverage. Well, for me it does. Look how nice that is. And the applicator, I literally love the applicator so much. I'm just gonna spray it. This is a little life hack. If you have any type of water, you can even just wet it with like a normal spray, but any type of water. Spray your beauty blenders and wet them because otherwise your beauty blenders will kind of like absorb this product and it'll make it just blend smoother if you add water. Like look at that. Also this is the product I didn't show you guys in shade of light. I look like I've like slept for long enough. <laughs> and then I have the NARS. This stuff is so good. I'm just going to spot conceal. Some little red spots there and down my nose. I'm not doing very much makeup. If I were to do a lot of makeup with foundation as well, this is the foundation I use, the Kosas one. I'm going to use my new beauty blender, guys. I'm going to see how it is. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Spray. Spray it a lot. Oh, that's good. I accidentally wet my beauty blender a little too much. Okay. My makeup's like a trust the process kind of thing, guys. If you know, you know, like, literally. Like, some of my friends, when they do their makeup... It literally looks flawless the whole time. If you're watching this, you know who you are. But for me, you know, it's a bit of a trust the process kind of thing. Okay, cute, cute, cute. Next, before I do setting powder, um, I'm going to do some blush because mine's a cream blush and I don't have setting spray because I really, really want the shot to wear one. Okay, beautiful. This pixie blush is what I use. Sorry, I keep on forgetting to show the product though that I use. Pixie Blush in shade, I think it's Ruby. Hydrating Solid Cheek Tint. You can also use it on your lips, but it's a little bit too pink for my lips. But it's a really natural. Oh. You might think it's a little bit too red, but like I like using red shades because they're more natural. Like they look like a normal, like a natural blush than like pink ones, if you know what I mean. Look at that. That just blends out so nicely. Like, And then I'm going to do a little bit on my nose. Um, I've seen this girl do it like on the bridge of her nose a little bit if she's doing natural. I'm doing natural makeup look by the way. Cute. Is that not an, I feel like but in real life it barely looks like any. I'm just going to add a little bit of blush guys. I'm a blush girly. Okay. This stuff it has so much product like let me twist it up. Look at all of that product. I got it in Singapore when I went to Singapore last time. 
I've been to Singapore twice now. So the last time I went to Singapore, I got it. They have a lot of the Korean K-beauty because I think Pixie, well, it was in Singapore. It was in the Sephora, whereas in my Sephora, it's never in stock. So it's only in stock online, but then you go into the store and you can't see it in the store, which is kind of weird, but yeah. Okay, so now my favorite setting powder I've ever used. My I used to use, I really wanted it. So this is Huda Beauty Easy Bake Setting Powder. It's the best thing ever. Me and my friend both agree. It's the best. Um, I've got it in banana bread. But I used my, before I got this, I was using my mum's by Terry one, which is kind of expensive. But uh, that was translucent powder, which is also really nice. It smells good too, like bro. I'm just going to pat it down so all the stuff goes through the little holes before I open it because the setting powder is a bit messy you know okay open it up I'm gonna do one side first okay and we can see how nice that looks I haven't done highlighter yet so I'm gonna do highlighter because I'm not doing full matte makeup look this is a really good for your under eyes as well oh my brush is literally falling apart I need some new brushes guys if you have any brush brands that you recommend because these are just mecca ones which is a makeup store that we have here I need a good one because this one is like falling apart it's so old that should be good also don't come at me for not using a powder puff i know that i'm not using one uh i'm getting one okay i'm ordering one like this is the best setting powder i definitely recommend this is what it looks like it looks really nice as well like i don't know i care about looks okay uh well not for people i care about looks for beauty products because they need to look nice this looks really sleek and nice now i'm gonna do my eyebrows okay benefit Brow, gimme brow and volumizing pencil. It's kind of cut off because I've used it a lot. The best brow product I've ever used, okay? Um, I'm just gonna get the end of this to use as my spoolie. And I'm just gonna fill my brows in. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna like barely fill them in today. Look at that. I've barely done any and already it just looks amazing. I know I said I was barely doing any today. But, like, I decided that I'm going to fill them in a bit more than I usually do. It looks a bit stupid right now because I, don't, first of all, don't have any lashes done. And because I've only done one. But when I do my full face, remember, like I said, this is a trust the process moment, okay? Yes, and I don't have any brow gel. Guys, please recommend a good brow gel. Thinking of trying out the Morphe Brow Wax because that one's pretty cheap as well. This looks bad, guys. Oh, no. But trust the process, guys literally what i say for everything that looks bad what highlighter am i going to use today i got two highlighters for christmas and they're both like really amazing and i love them so much this is rare beauty positive light illumina top um, is this speaking english oh i was looking at the non-english side trying to read it okay positive light silky touch highlighter in this is in shade enlighten i have got a hair on my mouth okay there we go and then I have a Fenty one, which I think I'm going to use the Fenty one because that the Fenty one is more natural because it's closer to my skin tone and I'm doing like a natural look today. So this Fenty one's really nice. What's about? This is the hardest thing to open up. Okay. Oh, I opened it. It's so pretty. Look at the camera. Eee, hello. Okay. But look at that. It's literally so pretty. So I'm using this little fan brush. I'm going to use this on my eyelids. I'm going to use this one on my eyelids, okay? Because... Why not, you know? That looks really nice. You can't really see it, but I like it. Cute! Okay, next I'm going to use the shimmer for my cheeks. See how that looks more natural because it's closer to my skin tone. Whereas the other one is like kind of for more makeup, you know? Well, you can use it for both, but this one I want to try out today as well. I do it under my eyebrows. I literally put highlighter everywhere. I'm one of those people. We like... We liking... We like... Okay, next, um, I'm going to do lashes. So this lash curler from Sports Girl, it's amazing, okay? Let me just tell you. Oops, I dropped it, but it's so good. It's my favourite lash curler. My lashes are really long, so when I curl them, they look like a million times longer. Look at the difference. I've got a new mascara. It's the best mascara I've ever tried. It's the Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara. It's the lengthening one. This stuff is amazing. I've got the mini, but I'm definitely, once I run out of this, I'm so buying full size. This is so amazing. It literally makes my lashes look so long. I definitely recommend this, okay? I'll use, and it's got like two different bristle sides. So I'm going to use this side. Oh, 
no. Sorry guys, I'm a very messy uh, mascara user. The mascara face, I'm like, look at that mascara. And I didn't even have to get any clumps out. It's not even clumpy. It's so good, this is my favorite mascara ever. Now we have to do the other side. I'm so good at doing this side. Like, if you see, this side of my face looks just so much better than this side, okay? Now I'm scared, okay. But this mascara never fails me, so. This is always so hard to do it on this side, guys. Uh, I'm just gonna have to tune out for a minute because, like, mm. Okay, guys, so my camera just died. That's why if the spot, like, the camera's in changed a little bit, that's why. This is actually the best um cleansing balm I've ever used. It's clean at zero it's the Benila co one clean at zero cleansing balm pink one get it next i have to do my lips and then my hair and then we're done i used the charlotte tilbury pillow talk the lip liner i don't know if there's like different shades or whatever because this was my mum's but she let me have it i might sharpen this just because i'm gonna line my lips with this and then put some gloss on okay i have the lip liner on i call also kind of filled in my lips a little bit but yeah, next, I got this for Christmas. The Gacy lip oil is literally my favorite thing ever. It's really nice on your lips. It's very thin, so it does kind of like, doesn't last very long, but like, it's so nice. It, well, it does last long, but like, feels the nicest and looks nicer than ones that stay on for longer, if you know what I mean. So yeah, this is my makeup look. Now it's time, whoa. Now it's time to do hair, okay? So I'm gonna take my hair out. Well, I got a bit sweaty up in there, but it's okay. Let me just quickly blend up here just in case nothing blended. Because I had the hairband on. Let me just get my hair stuff and we can do my hair. I'm back. So first I'm just gonna brush out my hair because it's a bit knotty. Um, where's my hair oil? Oh, I don't have my hair oil here. You know what? That's okay. Um, let's, what should we do with my hair? Maybe we could do like a little, oh, I don't want to put hairspray in it though. Oh, you know what I'll do? I'm going to do two little pigtails going towards the back. So make sure there's a nice straight part. Keep going backwards. Now I need you guys to tell me, is my part straight? If it's not, then you know what, it's okay. But like, I don't know if you guys can see, but I don't know if my part's straight or not. I've got this hair spray. My nail. I hit my nail and it fell off. You guys know what it's time for? Wait, where did my nail even go? How did it go on that side? Now, do you guys know what it's time for? Some nail surgery, okay? Let's do this. Whoa, all the glue just like fully came off. Okay. Where did the nail kit go? Bro, where did my nails go? Okay, let, let's just do my hair first, okay? Oh, there's none left. Oh, there we go. That's just air. Okay. Oh no. Shouldn't that be enough? This is my favourite brush. That it slicks stuff down really well as well. Okay. So, I'll just put one hair tie in this. Okay, guys. That looks pretty good. There's a little, some little bumps, but that's okay. It's not going to get much better. Now let's do the other side, and don't say that I look like a five-year-old, because I kind of already know that. But I like this hairstyle, I think it's really cute. So, literally nothing in the can. Yes, oh, yes, it's coming out. I need to get some new hairspray. <laughs> what is this? My hand got a bit stuck. Let's just tie this up. We've got the ponytails, now time for jewellery, okay? I've got these little earrings, I don't know which ones they are. Uh, my, they're my mum's but my mum just got new earrings and so I'm using her old ones don't worry I clean them I kind of want to get my second piercings but there's no good time to oh <sighs> guys look at that I knew something happened to my nail when I hit it there's a full crack down it do you guys see that or no but anyways um what was I talking about I don't know what I was talking about sorry guys oh second piercings oh yeah yeah um there's no good time to get them done because so in Australia, we have one big summer holidays, but that's in summer and you can't swim if you've just gotten a piercing because basically I can't have them at school, but like you can't take them out either if you've just gotten them done, if you know what I mean, because they have to stay in for like a certain amount of weeks. But 
if I get them done in the summer holidays, which has the most amount of time, then I'm not going to be able to swim or anything. And, you know, you want to swim in summer. So, like, I don't know what to do because I really want to get them. These are really cute. I don't know if I'm a gold or silver jewellery kind of girl. Sometimes I'm gold and sometimes I'm silver. I think gold I wear on, like, holidays and stuff. And then silver jewellery I wear at school and stuff like that. Okay, guys, the earrings are in. Now I have this deodorant that I'm going to use. It's really nice. It smells amazing. Don't judge. I'm smelling it even though I've used it before. This stuff smells so good. It's the Sao de Janeiro, the Rio Dio one. It's the Brazilian Jasmine and Pink Dragon Fruit, blah, blah, blah. It's, I think it's the one that smells like 68, but I'm not using 68 today. I don't have it. I have 40. See, I have 40. And I have After Hours, which I'm going to use. This one is brand new. I got this for Christmas and I got that for Christmas. Both of them smell amazing. Um, now, the After Hours perfume that smells like heaven, it smells like the black opium dupe, okay? Beautiful. I hope you enjoyed this video. And let me know what other videos you would like me to do. And I'll see you in the next one. Love you guys. Bye.